hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to fetch the products data in the admin panel so previously we had seen how to add the products and here in this products tab we are going to fetch the product so this was the default code which we copied from this category over here so we are going to change this design and the data we will be fetching the name and the category of that product and the price so let's get started with it so here you can see this is our routes page right so we are in this products url over there so let us go to that controller and check so in this function we are fetching all the products so if you have not written this code it's just simple we are calling the product model of all the products okay and here we are returning the view of the page inside this thing resources views views admin product and this index page okay here we are sending that thing oops the controller got closed yeah so you can directly click and come over here so what else we need here we will just write the table header first i'll just copy and paste here we'll say category and the name description and the price and the offer price also we will keep okay we'll keep it as selling price and the original price okay so here now we'll just need to add the table data like we have added this table header so after the id we need the category right so here we have the column name called category id okay so you can check this it will be in your database i'll just show you are here so localhost php my admin so our database table is open here so this is my database e-commerce and these are the tables inside the products table we will go and see for that category id so i have stored as cat a id okay so we'll give that c a t e underscore id and then name and description is already there then the original price and the selling price we need to give over here let us say price okay okay so the name description and i think we don't require description that will be too long to display in the table we'll just remove it from the front view when you edit that you can be able to see that so here after the name we are keeping the original price so let us check in our database we have as original price and selling price so let us keep the just the selling price in this overview i'll remove the original price also here let me keep selling underscore price and then the image and the edit and delete button so let us just check our output we'll go to our admin panel and refresh so here you can see category id it's showing one and the name of the product this will be the selling price and the image and this edit and delete button so here instead of showing one i want to show the category name okay so before that we'll just reduce this image size and this button size okay so we'll go there and let's search for custom.css inside the admin page and here i will reduce this to 70 pixel let's give height as 70 pixel okay yeah done and for this button inside this btn primary just a btn sm copy that same thing and paste it for this delete button also paste okay so now we are going to create that has many relationship i mean the belongs to relationship to get the categories name so inside your model so go app models in your product model here we have given this right so go below this and create a function a public function category okay so give a function name or here as category oops i missed it this should be inside the class so inside this class we need to give this okay here 
we need to say return dollar this of belongs to here we need to pass three parameters here so first will be the class name of the model which we need to call so that will be the category so this is a category model class comma here you need to give your foreign key here you need to give your primary key so give a semicolon here so the foreign key means here which we are storing the id of the other model so just paste it over here and here of this class which data we are going to take we are going to say here id okay so match this id with the id of the category so save and just close this file here in this where we need to show the category name right just remove this and call the function which we created uh, i'll just show you so here we created this category right just copy that name and paste it over here so now you are inside the category table you can just assume like that you are in the category table so what data you need from the category table we need the category name right so i'll tell the name okay so save and let us check the output go and refresh and here it is electronics so similarly for everything whichever we add the category right that time you can see the category of that i mean the name of that category will be displayed over here so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to fetch the category i mean the product and the category of that product so in the next video we'll see how to edit and delete this thing so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share